Hi, KB2MXV here. I put a little uh, Microsoft Access database together. If any of you guys use Microsoft Access or have Microsoft Access, this will work. If you don't have Microsoft Access, it's not going to work for you. So basically what I did was I put a little database together that will add channels to your uh, DMR code plug. Now I'm going to walk through this, how I made it and how to use it. If anybody finds it useful, feel free to use it. So here uh, I have my CPS open. Right now I'm on the D578 CPS. Now you, this will work with any of the uh, CPS uh, that you use, whether it's for the 878 or the 868. Uh, but what you want to do first is go to your uh, on your C drive you want to create a folder called DMR code plug all one word all together Now this must be spelt like this or this won't work so we're going to create a folder called DMR code plug and it's going to be empty right now what you want to do is go to your code plug and we want to go to tools and export. You want to click on this top button here. It says export all. And you want to navigate to your C drive and to the DMR code plug folder. Uh, just give this export a name. For me, I'll call it KB2MXV. You can name it anything you want. It really doesn't matter. And you're going to hit save. You're going to get the prompt up, export all. You're going to say yes. And as you can see on the right hand side, you just exported to CSV all your files you need. Now, this is my channel list. And let's go to digital. And these are my talk groups. Now, if you notice, the, my talk groups are not sorted by talk group ID number. Uh, you can leave it like this if you like. I find it easier to sort these, these talk group IDs uh, for the utility that I made. And let me show you how I do that. So if you look in your DMR code plug file folder, and if you open up your talk group CSV, what you want to do here. Okay, go into the first column, the A column, and you want to highlight all the numbers. And this is just a, a talk group uh, slots. And you want to hit delete key. So you don't want any numbers sitting in here. The next thing you want to do is click on the B column, go over to uh, sort and filter and select sort smallest to largest. You'll get a prompt box that says warning, expand the selection, you want to hit yes for sort. Now what just happened is all the IDs for your talk groups are now in numeric order all the way down. You want to hit the save on Excel, just a quick save, and you want to close it. Okay, that's all the hard work. Now for the easy stuff. Uh, notice when I go to my channels on my code plug, I have, let me see how many channels are in this code plug. I have 182 channels, 182 channels. So right now I can minimize uh, the code plug and I'm going to run my little Microsoft Access database, which is called DMR code plug generator. And when you open this up, come on, open up. Let me try that again. Now, there it goes. Okay. So when it opens up, you get a just a small little box just like this. The first thing you want to do, especially if you just did the full export, 
CSV, the first thing you want to do is go to this little bottom box where it says Reset Talk Group List. Uh, you'll see a little circle uh, rotate and you're good. I want to, let's say there's a new repeater in your area and you want to add it to your code plug. Let's say the new repeater, uh, the receive frequency is 440.75000. That's the receive frequency. And the transmit frequency is going to be 445.75000. And we're going to work on, let's work on time slot 2. Uh, I want all my channels to be high power. The color code for this repeater is 7. My uh, transmit permit, always channel free, different color code, same color code. I'm just going to use always for now. And channel name prefix. So what's going to happen here is the letters you put here, I wouldn't recommend more than three, but you could do whatever you like. The letters you put here, let's say this is the uh, ABC repeater. I'm going to type ABC here. What's going to happen is when I create the channels, it's going to name my channels ABC, space, and then my talk group name. And I'll show you how that works. So once you put all this stuff in, uh, what next thing you want to do is go select talk groups and how many you, you have that's how many you'll see here I think I have maybe uh, 61 here now you could hit select all or you can hit select none and you'll get none I'm just gonna just pick a few uh, talk groups that I want uh, I'm on time slot 2 so I'm gonna just pick a local 2 I'll do, uh, I don't know, Worldwide 91, I'll just do TAC 310, and I'll say I want a New York, and I want a Pennsylvania, and I want a PA Local. So I selected, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I selected five different talk groups. Now these are the only talk groups I want for this particular repeater. On top, once you have your talk group selected, you want to hit close. And the next thing you want to do is just hit this generate button. That just put five channels into your channels.csv file. And now let's do time slot one. And I want to go to select talk groups. And now I'm just going to put, uh, let's see, we'll just do Maryland, Delaware, we'll do TAC 312. Uh, well, I'll let, pick five of these. I'll pick New York Metro and Region 3. And I'll hit close. And I'll hit generate. So what we just did was we picked five talk groups for time slot two, and we picked five talk groups for time slot one. We're done with this little interface. We're going to hit close. Let's get out, out of access. And if you notice now, in your DMR code plug folder, when you look at channels, notice the time. The time this file was created was 916. All the other ones were 909. And again, notice here we have 182 channels. Now we want to go to Tools, Import, Channel. We want to go make sure we're back in the DMR code plug folder. And we want to hit select the channel, that CSV file. And we want to hit Open, and then we want to hit Import. And this should import fairly quick and we have 182 channels and this should populate okay so it's skip the spaces that's fine but here are the new channels here are the 10 new channels and what you can do now is just go to your zone okay so i have a few zones here now you can go to a zone that you currently have double click in it
and if you scroll down to the bottom here are your 10 new channels they all start with ABC so you could add them to his own you can just add them right to his own you can create a new zone we'll call this zone ABC and we'll scroll down to the bottom and we'll grab all the ABC's okay and we'll say okay and just write the 10 channels to your radio all right i hope this uh, made a little sense kb2mxv